The book you're reading this week, The Return of Martin Guerre by Natalie Zeman Davis, is a beautiful meditation on the ways we historians can write the histories of those who leave no traces in the archives, in their own voices, and who may therefore be silenced, be forgotten, and the puzzle that this poses for us. Often, as in this case, we come to these stories and to these lives at unusual or exceptional moments. And this is the case here. It is an incredible story that was at the time a sensational trial. And as Natalie Zeman Davis writes, a case so extraordinary that the judge, Jean de Corras, wrote what was then a legal text and a literary tale that became a bestseller. So if this is a dramatic story, we turn to it to ask how and what it can tell us about 16th century rural society in the southwest of Europe, how people who experienced the world then, how they felt, how they thought, what were the sentiments and aspirations, their hopes and feelings? Now, the French philosopher Jacques Rancière has reminded us that history, in fact, the word carries many different meanings all at the same time. History means one's lived experience, but also its faithful narrative, its deceitful fiction, and its scholarly account. So the task of the historian is to always keep in mind how we blend our own research in the archives with imagination, and that what we can recount is stories that are both plausible and truthful, but that will always be incomplete because our knowledge of the past will always be incomplete. There is no truth in the archives. There is only truthfulness and what we try and do every time. That is to harness imagination in the service of our research in order to tell these stories. And this is what Natalie Zeman Davis does in the book you will read this week.